Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Timberborn. And I did a few things off camera, which I'll just go over quickly here. Not too much. Um, I retired some of my, my smaller warehouses. I stuffed one of them with berries to try to delete the berries. So we're down to one berry, which is good. Uh, I didn't want any berries. Put some new warehouses here, the larger ones, and a couple up here. I extended my tree growing area down here a bit and put another forester in. And I put a little um, pathway here so that they get they weren't able to build this last little bit here because it was too far away. So I put this path in, and this is allowing us to have um, water during droughts right now. So this blocks the water and then it just flows over. These are um, levee levees. So that's been working well. Um, we got lots of food, lots of water. I took out some of my small water storage and put in the big water storage. So got lots of water stored away. Put in another double lodge, so got another six beavers. And I moved my district center to the left slightly so that we could get up here to put a scavenger flag in so that the beavers can reach these uh, ruins. So they're getting metal scrap out of those, which is good. Once this is done, we'll probably move the district center back maybe if we need to. Uh, research points have been piling up, so I want to do some research stuff. I extended my growing area a little bit too and put in one more, uh, whatchamacallit, farmhouse right here. And I eventually want to move my warehouses up into this non growable area because I think it's going to be better. We want to optimize all this green area here. And I'm relocating this log storage over closer to where the trees are, over here and also not on fertile land. Technically this should be by the log stuff, the log processing, but we kind of don't have any room here. We could platform out and put some log storage there, but right now I don't think I'm going to do that. Longer term, I kind of want to... This area right here is like super deep looking. It'd be really cool if we could get up here and cut a hole and let the water fill up in here. I think we probably need a way for it to... Actually, I don't, I don't know how that works. work. I, I haven't really exper experimented with splitting the water flow before. Like, would half of it go this way? I'm not really sure. We could test it out over here, maybe, depending on how deep this is. Well, that's actually higher than the water flow. Hmm. But this is definitely lower, so we could try to get the water to go down in here. At least I think it's lower. Uh, it's debatable, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it looks deeper. I think this this would be deeper. So this is a would potentially be a bit good growing area. I don't know how long I want to go with this playthrough. Whether I want to try to like colonize the whole map, or I guess that's the uh, I guess that's the goal, right? There's quite a bit of area to uh, discover. <laughs> quite a big map. But I guess that's the point, right? Try to scale up as much as you can. Uh, okay, so decorations. We've got 2200 research piled up. So I want to start using that. We've got also monuments. we got the labor monument, uh, which gives a bonus. Let's get this thing. What does it cost to build? 200 logs. Actually, that's no problem. And I'm not sure what the bon... Actually, we can check the bonus by checking a beaver here. Let's... Ooh, quite the... Uh, quite, the quite the mouthful. Labor Monument. Um, gives... Working speed plus 25%. That's pretty, pretty damn awesome. Where would be a good place for them to do that? The work... I mean, we can put in more than one. We could put it over by these farmhouses. Uh, I mean, I could. I, I think I want to put it by my industry first. Can they reach this? Uh, they need to be able to reach this. We could build a stairway up and then they could build it. That would cover all those production buildings. I think I'm going to build it there. So we need a stairway 
up. Actually, do they need a stairway? It'll say not reachable if it's not reachable. Let's put that high priority and see what happens. I think they might be able to run in the water here and build that. Yep, no problem. No, no problem at all. So that'll help all these buildings go build stuff a little bit faster. And where else can we put it? We could put it by the farmhouses. Let's get this this one done first though. Is the log storage being moved very slowly? We'll use up quite a few logs building this thing. Got a lot of research going on. I gotta think about doing another district soon, but we still haven't fully filled this area up. I'm getting pretty close though. We certainly have lots of food storage. Uh, let's make sure the gear workshop is... I, oh yeah, I put in a second gear workshop because I wasn't keeping up with the number of gears. And I was just being flooded with the planks, so... That's good. Okay, they got some logs there. That's no problem. We'll be able to build that. And power-wise... Our power's good during non-drought times, but when there's a drought, we don't have enough wind power, so... We could look at researching the big windmill. 1,400 research. That'll gobble up the rest of our research, and that actually requires paper. We don't have any paper yet, and we haven't done the shredder yet. Uh, let's see. What does it take to build paper? Paper mill requires 15 gears. Yeah, let's consider building this thing. And we've got our power daisy chained against all these things. Where's the entrance? Right there. Oh, this would just barely fit in there. Let's do it. I'm going to move these warehouses, so maybe my industry will move this way. We could also jam some more industry back here if we put some platforms, but they're a little bit expensive, but not too crazy. Yeah, so we could put platforms here and put some more industry back to back against all this. Maybe I could put the better wind power back here. Let's research this. Oh, we can't yet. <laughs> now we gotta wait for uh, wait for the paper to start flowing. Paper requires... I'm not sure yet. I guess we'll find out pretty soon here. Let's make that high priority. I think they're still collecting here. Yeah, yeah, they're still able to reach the ruins here. 90 scrap metal. Looking good. We got no unemployed. We, we want to have a few unemployed. At least one. Just in case someone dies of old age. Which they're doing. Building lacks materials. I'm going to leave that because... Eventually they'll get this wheat. You know what, let's pause it for now. Actually, let's not. Okay, how are we doing for these logs? Well... How's this thing going? They're getting there. It's a little bit of a swim. There's no easy way for them to get across unless we built like a ramp or something. And we just plug that up so they can't get around that way. That's okay. They can swim. They're beavers. The water is plenty full at the moment. We'll eventually put more power in here. But I think we're good for now. Productivity 15%. I think because they have they have no uh, flower, and it doesn't look like anything is planted here. I'm not sure why. We'll put more wheat. Oh yeah, I think it might be out of range. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's out of range. Okay, fair enough. I guess we'll cancel that because it's not going to ever get done. We have a, a few more strips here. We could put some food in. 
I got wheat there. I'm gonna put uh, some carrots in here in this little strip. And we got growing room here, but I'm saving this for. Actually, these warehouses are full. We'll just have to let them catch up here. Play the waiting game. I think we can probably put in more housing. This has four scrap metal in it, and they just don't want to empty it for some reason. Prioritize empty. There's room for scrap metal in here. But they just don't want to uh, empty it. Hmm. I don't want to lose my four scrap metal. <laughs> okay, drought's coming. I think we'll be okay. We got this levee holding in the water. We could put a dam across here that would push the water level up one more. I think that would be safe. Or would it flood things? A uh, dam there would potentially flood this area maybe. So maybe we'll just leave it as is. Okay, did I get the statue done yet? Oh, one more log. One more log and the productivity will go through the roof. Okay, now they're building it. Oh, it's done. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. They like it. Productivity 91. I don't know if we'll see productivity go over 100 in these buildings with this thing wow. here. Okay, so what else do we got here? Uh, I don't think I have enough rooftop terraces. Um, where can we put another one? That's reachable. Back here? Can we put a stairway there? I think my potted plant is in the way. Hmm. Well, we could put another campfire. Let's just double check how many beavers have. Okay, only six have hit the campfire, so we definitely need more campfires. There's one here. I was gonna put a road here between these. Okay, what do I got here? Oh, there's a lumberjack flag here. I didn't even notice that's not, that doesn't belong there. And I'm gonna just maybe sacrifice these four scrap metal just to get rid of this small warehouse. So we need another, we need some big warehouses. Actually, we're okay for storage right now. Unless I want to migrate these ones. Okay, rooftop terrace. We could put one on the top here, on the top of these buildings. And we could try to get six more beavers in. I think we can do it. So, uh, housing. Oh, we got lack of workers. Let's uh, fix that first. We'll take some uh, haulers back out. Wow. Where is everyone working? Not quite sure. Let's pause the research, one of the researchers, and that should be good. Yeah, we need more beavers. We got three children that need to grow up as well. So if I put more housing here, double decker. We'll need access. We'll need to build a little way for them up. But I think that would work. Oh, a seven-day drought. Okay, we got 1,300 water. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't add more beavers just yet. I'm going to add another big water storage, actually. Let's put that in. I'm paranoid about them dying of thirst. 
And then we can prioritize emptying these smaller ones. Okay. Uh, 40 beavers, roughly. They drink three times a day. 160 a day. We'd be okay for like almost 10 days. And we're gonna add more water here in a second. As long as this doesn't dry up. Actually, so this dried up, but this didn't. Interesting. Okay, we might be in trouble here. And we're definitely out of power. Can we do the big windmill yet? Yes. Let's research that. What does it take to build? Oh yeah, we don't have the paper yet. Paper mill. Logs. And paper. Do we put more small windmills in? Just to keep the power going until we can put the big windmills in? I don't know, it seems like a waste. Yeah, I'm just turning the planks off until we eat through some of these planks. We got quite a few. And we're good for gears, actually, at the moment, so we'll turn the gears off as well. And for paper, they just need logs. What does this thing take to build? 20 planks, 20. It's pretty cheap to build. If we put that there, we'll get a little bit more power out of our tiny windmills for now. Till we build up some paper. I think that's the way to go. Actually, we got, uh... Got a, pa a bit of paper already. Hmm. How much room does this thing need? You know what? Let's cancel this. Did they already deliver stuff? Uh, six logs? Uh... That's fine. So if we put this big windmill here, connected to the back, too far away from builders. Okay, we'll pull that right there. And hook it up here. They won't be able to get to this little area easily. Okay, water's decent at the moment. Got five unemployed. Let's put some more hauling, hauling beavers back in. And you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put some more housing in. We must grow. Double lodge right here, and then we'll put some kind of way for them up. I think that's the way to go. Build a path here. Actually, I need a stairwell up to that second floor. I'm going to build a little platform here for them to get in, and then another platform for them to get up to the roof. And then I want to put more housing here, so I'm going to put some... put like a little way up along here. And then stairs here, maybe. You know, we could put in even three, four. We could put in a giant housing block here. So let's platform it up and then stairs up here. Will that work? I think so. We'll find out. This building isn't accessible. Yeah, that's fine. It will be soon. And then we want stairs up to the rooftop deck. Leisure. Rooftop terrace. Yeah, maybe. Guess we'll put it there. Okay. I did put a few shrubs in here. One here. One down here. We could probably put some more shrubs in. 
keep them happy. And we haven't built a temple yet. 300 research, 40 planks. Let's do it. Holy crap, it's big. <laughs> Where do we put this monstrosity? We didn't really save any room for this thing. Hmm. We put it across town, up here? That's a long way for them to run to go to the temple. Um, hmm. We could put it over here. It's not too far away. And build stairs up to it. I think I'll do this. Yes. Actually, on second thought. Uh, I think that'll be okay. It's pretty close to town. And then come along here. Do we build a road or stairwell back down? Or we can't. We're kind of... We're stuck here now with this. They'd have to come all the way around here. That's a long way for them to go. Okay, let's not do this, this just yet. I'll have to have come up with a better plan for that. We could put it over here. That's not too far. Ideally, we'd have a straight path through here. That would probably speed them up a bit. We'd lose a little bit of growing room, but we'd probably make them run around faster. How are we doing food-wise? Food and water's good. Drought's got 1.5 days left. We're fine. I want to use up these logs so we can get this log pile out here. But we I think it just we need, need more storage, because that's full over there. Uh, log storage, log storage, where can we put you? We could put some up here. I kind of wanted to save this for warehouses only. Hmm. Log storage. I think I'll put another one up here. Another two, maybe. I know it's far away from everything. But, um, I think it'll be good. And then we can empty these ones, which are not helping us over here <laughs> at all. Okay, are these guys connected yet? What's up? What's going on here? Oh, they need a path. Build a path. Oh, that's not on the right level. Hmm. How do we build a path up here? Oh, there we go. Yay, and then a path up here. There we go. That should be... Ex no, it's not accessible. They can't... Hmm. I need another few platforms, maybe? <clears throat> That's not really what I wanted to do. Uh, we could put a... I didn't want to build in here. Maybe we can go around the back, get rid of the stairway, and then come around the back. Let's delete this. And then put some platforms here. And then a stairway there. That's not gonna work either. We need another platform. This is kind of a waste of space, but we'll come around this way and then up to the rooftop terrace. Kind of not optimal. <laughs> but we'll be able to put more housing in here, I think. I don't know if we can get act like these little railings. I don't know if they're whether they can split or not. I guess I can find out right here. Oh yeah, they can make T junctions. Okay, we're good. So we'll put more housing in here, here, and here maybe. Let's then build that up. Okay. 
Okay, oh, it's looking pretty droughty. Looking pretty droughty. We got... Where's the water? The drought's over. Come on. There it comes. <laughs> there comes the water. And the green with it. Yay. Later on we can get dynamite. We can start terraforming a little bit. Ah, the lush green. Okay, how are we doing for planks? We're good for planks. Gears, we're good. Food is definitely okay. Unemployment's two. Oh, they're on the rooftop deck. Look at them, look at them. <laughs> Chilling out. Hey, this guy's got... Oh, his tail is up. <laughs> Love it. Okay, how many uh, rooftop decks? Not, not many yet. We need more rooftop decks for these guys. And the temple. We could put the temple up here. It's actually not too far away. Let's see our district center. It's kind of getting yellow up here. Let's do it. Let's put a platform here. Stairs. Stairs here. Here. And then temple. Up here. Like so. I think that'll work. Path. Uh, beautiful. There they go. Building it already. Okay, these smaller things we're going to retire. Smaller water tanks. That'll leave room for one more big one. Big water tank right here. I know we're going a little bit overboard with the water, but... Okay, log storage. Are you emptied? No, you're not. You're st we're just overflowing in logs. That's the problem. We're not eating the logs fast enough. Okay, let's turn them into planks. Two of those. How are we doing for gears? 52. We'll need more gears eventually. Let's turn that on. Okay. Maybe one more log storage. Log pile up in the middle of nowhere. And we could put a little few a few more trees in here. I'll save this for more water storage though if we need it. And these smaller ones we'll take out. We'll empty those. And retire those. Temple, how are you doing? You getting there? Let's make you a high priority. One unemployed. Uh, beavers, 46. We got room for 48. I think some people have made colonies with a thousand beavers, so, like, we're still tiny scale here. How much paper do we have? 106 paper. We could probably build some more wind power. Large windmill. How do I want to plug this in? We can't get over here. <laughs> we could retire this one, I think. Let's delete this. Hopefully we'll be able to fit the big one in here. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Able to upgrade. This is good. It's all coming together, beavers. If you're enjoying this series, uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Tickle that subscribe button. It likes to be tickled. This is taking a while over here. It's still reachable. I think so. Let's 
Scrap metal 20. Oh yeah, there they go. Maybe we need some more haulers. We only have one hauling post. And it's not even full yet. Okay, I guess we don't need another one yet. Okay, what other leisure do we have? We got the temple built. Ooh, that's got a cool little sound effect. You can see them chilling out in the temple here. Pretty cool. And what does that do for them? Temple. Let's see what the bonus is for that. Spirituality. Working speed plus 30%. Yeah, that's worth it. And let's cut their hours back. Working hours. We'll take it back to 16. We'll let them relax a little bit so they can do these extracurricular activities. I need another uh, campfire as well. Where should we put that? Put it back here. Campfire. Yeah, we'll put it there. What are the leisure do we have? Decorations. Oh yeah, we've got the beaver statue. Five minute research, let's do that. And what does it do? Let's check out what the beaver statue does. Beaver statue does working speed plus 5%. Not great. But every little bit helps. Maybe we'll put that over in the working area here. Beaver statue, 50 logs. Uh, what's the radius like here? Okay, we can put it... Put it here and it's going to cover quite a few working buildings. I don't know if it has to cover the whole building or just part of it. We'll find out. Seems like a good place for a statue. Where else could we use it? Over by the farmers? Yeah, maybe right. Is there a little place in <laughs> front? You know what? We could probably take out one plant. Yeah, I'm going to destroy this one carrot here. Then we'll put a statue in there. It might help them a bit. We could also put a planter in there. A shrub. Sacrifice a little bit of food. Let's make that high priority so we can get her done. Priorities, where are you? There you are. I don't use you much. Okay, that's my priority. Okay, the small water storage can come out. Let's delete those. And I think we're good for water. You know what? We can even pause one of these pumps, I think. Okay, come on, beavers. There you go. So, beaver statue here. And a shrub here. Now, should we go more beavers? Water? I think we're kind of lacking on water, actually. 1600. Unemployed 8. Let's get the inventor back on. And some more haulers back on. I guess some of the beavers grew up. Okay, unemployed three. What can they be doing? Uh, a shrub right here would probably be good too, but... We definitely have enough food. Got a lot of logs. Uh, let's unpause this. Okay, what else we got here? We got fences, scarecrow. This is complaining? Lumber mill. Couldn't get enough logs? Okay.
I want to retire these big time, but... <laughs> Someone's busy there. Oh my gosh. They're not keeping up with this. Uh, we have so many logs. Too many logs. I've planted too many trees. For now. We'll eventually use it, but... Okay, let's put in some more housing. I think it's time. Maybe right here in this block where I was planning. Uh, housing, double decker. What's this big one cost? Triple lodge. It only costs 250 research. You know what? Let's get this. Holy crap, it's big. Now, if I put it here, they'll be able to reach it. No problem. Yep. Let's do it. Should have got that a long time ago. That's the way to go. How many beavers is that? Nine. Wow. Triple lodges. We got room on this side as well. We could put triple lodges on this side as well. Just really pack them in. Pack them and stack them. How's our mix of food? Yeah, we got all the things. One berry. That one lone berry. Storage is full. Um... We could put... Oh, wait, what about this up, upgraded warehouse? We can't afford that just yet. Holds... Oh, underground. Capacity 4,000. Must be built on the ground. But it's underground. <laughs> I guess po part of it pokes out the top. I kind of want to wait for that. 40 gears. Yeah, let's wait for that. How full are we here? Pretty full. Hmm. Oh, I didn't leave enough room to stack these in here like this. On top of each other. I need like a row in between. But I'm gonna hold off. We'll hold off on that. There's some other research we need to do for the next district stuff, so that is under... Oh, you know what? Let's wait for the... 466, unemployed 3. Let's put in some more science huts. So we can really ramp up the research. Okay, there's a little gap here. I, I want these to be lined up, so we'll put two of those in. Get the science rolling. Once we're done all the science, we can retire all these. But some of, this, some of these cost 12,000. That's going to take a while. 3,000. But once they're done, they're going to be done, so. Carousel. 400 horsepower. Hmm. What else do we got here? The high power shaft. The metal shredder. We haven't done that yet, but I'm going to wait for the warehouse first, I think. Printing press. Gives books. What do books do? I actually don't know. I assume it makes the beavers smarter. <laughs> books. Knowledge books. Oh, maybe it's uh, just another perk. Let's see. Books, yeah. What does that do? Oh, working speed 20%. Yeah, okay. I guess they're like consumables. Storage is full, storage is full. I know some people out there dedicate their storage so it doesn't overflow with food, but... I'm just gonna like, grow into the food, I think. If that makes any sense. We got room for... 57 beavers. And lots of food, lots of water. Three unemployed, so those guys are all full. What's this uh, flame of progress do? Let's see. Let's click on a beaver. Mm, the flame of progress. Walking speed, 30%. And I built this thing wow. over here. This is kind of a waste, actually, where I put this. 
Hmm. What does it cost to build again? 200 logs. We're swimming in logs, you know what? So let's put maybe... Put one over... Where else are they working? Kind of all over, but... We could put one here. Or here. This is kind of central, but that's just covering housing. That's not really going to help us much. Let's put it here. I want to cover all three farms, but it's not going to work. Like, unless we put it, like, here and destroy some food. I think I will. Let's remove... I think this will be kind of in the center here. How many tiles was it? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll find out pretty soon here. Yes, perfect. Juice those speeds. We're gonna have the most productive beavers ever. Okay, these are finally empty. Yay, we can delete them. Clean that up. And do we have beavers sitting around idle, not planting? I think we might. So, you know what? We could put some more plants in here. What should we do? We'll do some potatoes. Uh, let's check our mix right now. Potatoes. We got lots of potatoes. We have no bread at the moment. Oh wait, is that bread? This is bread. We need more potatoes. Okay. Uh, potatoes are growing in... Here. Actually, we got all those raw potatoes. Maybe we're not cooking them fast enough. I think we might need to cook some more potatoes. Yeah, we're piling up... Well, I keep thinking this is raw potatoes, but it's just bread. Uh-oh. Here we go. Stroke time. How many... I wish there was a global inventory screen. But there is not, as far as I know. I want to find out how many... Raw potatoes I have. Potatoes 2. 45. 81. 62. How many can they grill? Is the question. How many can they grill and where are they grilling them again? Where's my grill? Uh, over here. That wasn't set to prioritize, prioritize by haulers. That'll make it a little bit more efficient. Hmm. Wish we could see raw potatoes here. Oh, is that what these are? Oh, 340, okay. Okay. Disregard what I said a minute ago. 340, we'll see if this creeps up, and if it does, it means we're not cooking them fast enough. I mean, the fact that we have any slack right now probably means we don't have enough. Okay, let's put in our grill. Food, potato, grill. On fertile land? We could put it right here. Yes. There. Okay. Still working on this monument. And then hopefully we'll get those um, raw potatoes down. This will require more storage, so it's not the best in that respect, but... Yeah, we're kind of... It's better to actually keep some raw. Because <laughs> I think they... Uh, I think there's like a four to one. What is it? We get four potatoes, cooked potatoes out of one raw. So it's better to store the raw ones.
So you know what? We'll pause this for now. We just have too much food. We need more beavers. More housing. Here we go. Housing. Double lodge is what's going to fit in here. And there's no way for them to reach it. Hmm. Didn't quite think this through. There's a stairway there. Let's see if we build... Hmm, I think I have... You know, we could put a stairway on the other side, maybe? And a platform, maybe? Yeah, that might work. Housing, double lodge, like that, and then... Stairway... Yeah, that'll work. Stairway. Stairway to heaven, here we go. Where is it? Path, stairway. Just like that. I think that'll work. I'll find out. It's all new. It's all new stuff to me. The drought has started. Seven day drought. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. I mean, we've got water here for a while. And then eventually we'll have water down here. We could put a pump down here. This is like the last little bit of... Oh, it's already gone. Yeah, we could put a pump down here for these super droughts. And I think they're only going to get worse. I don't know if they just get worse forever until they, like, kill you. <laughs> Maybe we just need bigger water reservoirs to be able to hack increasingly bad droughts. Fill up all these giant pools. I think we might have to. Okay, the shredder. Oh yeah, we're gonna use that thousand research on something. It was on the big storage. Storage. Underground warehouse? Yes, that's, I've never made this before. So let's see. Oh, it is actually underground. Swanky. I like it. Uh, we'll put that. Should we put it in prime growing area? This is kind of central, so we could make this for food. I think I like the idea of that. It's fertile ground, but then they don't have to run as far. Let's do it. 40 gears, 80 planks. High priority. So we'll try to make this only food. Unconnected building. Yeah, I know. Oh, so they need a platform. Okay, I thought as much. Delete. But they're not going to be able to walk in here. This is not going to work. Because if I put a platform here, the stairs will go that way and they won't reach. So maybe we'll put the stairs here. This is really convoluted. Stairs. Bah. Okay. Platform first. Until I'm inexperienced with this kind of stuff. So we put stairs there, they can get up here, and then we can put platforms over to this way. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Stairs here. And then around. Yep. Yeah. We'll get to it. How's that pathing, though? Probably terrible. Yeah, it's orange up to here. I might have to rethink my whole housing complex at some point. It's kind of... I kind of like it. It's charming. It's organic. It's not a big line of row houses. Okay, we're fine for water. All the water tanks are full. Uh, the big warehouse. Okay, let's make sure this is at the... None, and then we're gonna let bread, carrots, flour, wheat, potatoes, real potatoes. I guess we can let that one berry in there. <laughs> okay, food's all going in there. Two, three, almost four thousand. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, this one looks cool. 
underground warehouse. Guys building by hallways. Apparently they, they ignore these uh, stock rules, they just put as much as they can in here. Oh, what happened? Your beavers are happier than ever. High score of 12. Sweet. Building lacks power 7. Uh, yeah, I guess we can get everyone out of there, but... We need more wind power, but the wind's not blowing. Hmm. I could pause all these, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna let them be idle. I guess we could start retiring these and replacing them with undergrounds. That would be the smart thing to do. Hmm. Let's, yeah, let's empty this. And we'll go... Okay, we can turn this off, I guess. There's no raw potatoes left? Mm, no, wait a minute. There's 369 potatoes. Oh, they just... Just not getting delivered. We have ten, 10 unemployed. Let's see if they get the potatoes to that. Uh, unable to get all the required materials. They're waiting on logs and potatoes. Hmm. Why are the potatoes not making their way there? Potatoes... exist. There they go. I think we need more haulers. Yeah, we got 10 unemployed. Let's build another... Uh, where, are they, where are these guys? Storage? Are they... What are they? Logistics? Where is this thing? Power. Uh, where the heck is it? District gate. We'll find it here, one by one. Um, labor, hauling post, there we go. We want this to be central. Centralized hauling post. Uh, you know what? We'll take this out. And then we'll put the hauling post here. I think it'll be a good place. And I've... There we go. Hauling post. Yes. Centralized. There. Make that high priority. How are we doing for planks? 460 darn planks. Let's pause that. Uh, water, we're fine. Food, we're definitely fine. This is getting emptied. Set that to none. It's full of carrots. Oh, we definitely have the room. I think this is probably a good place to wrap things up, though. We've got some pretty good progress. Next episode, we'll look at districts. Yeah, I don't know. I, I need to make some, do some planning to figure out where I want to go next. Would love to hear your comments and suggestions from some more veteran players out there. Where should I, where should I go to next? I kind of like these deep reservoirs over here. I think they're deep. Yeah, they look deeper than this channel. So we could fill them up somehow. That would be good. Like cutting a hole in here with explosives later on. And it's pretty close to our village, so if we came over across this way... You know what, we could explode a channel through here. Yeah, right through here. We could even just... Either cut through here, or cut through here. And that'll greenify everything, I think, to the le same level as the water, maybe? Or a couple levels up? I'm not sure how it works exactly. But we could get more fertile land in here. 
Yeah, I think that'll work. Holy, look at all these beavers. <laughs> look at all these beavers. What are they doing, one by one? Uh, I guess they can only fall so many at once. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.